some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom in Michigan where we find a judge who, well, deals with a soft heart fairly quickly. And then guess what? He even tries to use the quantum grammar, which is rarely ever used even by most soft hearts. I mean, it is just so mind-numbingly stupid that he uses it to begin with. But hey, whoever said a soft heart was intelligent. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this uh, freaking show on the road, shall we? Mr. Harris, would you please come to the podium? Uh, I challenge jurisdiction. Mr. Harris, I need you to step to the podium. Uh, if I step to the podium, they'll be under uh, threat to rest coercion. Well, fine, just do it. <laughs> okay, no problem. But I'm here I'm at the podium under threat to rest the coercion. But other than that, I challenge jurisdiction. Okay. Um, uh, without prejudice, I, Mikael Hyphen Eric Colin Harris, comma, beneficiary and sovereign principal, am here under fraud, threat, duress, coercion, and extortion fiduciary, Ms. Sheila Johnson. Look at this crap, everybody. This guy is actually reading from the soft hard script in the middle of court. I mean, couldn't you have memorized that before court? I mean, it's not that complicated. It's just saying I challenge jurisdiction and... A few other lines. It's not really all that hard. Now, what is hard is actually learning how to become a lawyer. That's much, much more complicated. This is the Social Security Sesame Trust action in which you are now a real party and interest to. This is a military admiralty tribunal and maritime law. So, uh, you accept the challenge of the jurisdiction. You can challenge it. I'm not stopping you from challenging it. Do you accept the challenge? I don't know what you mean by accept the challenge. Uh, do you accept that uh, this is a maritime admiralty law? No. You don't accept that? This has nothing to do with admiralty, sir. This okay. is simply a charge that you're here for. Yeah, but... It's, it's, it's nothing to do with the sea, vessels, or anything like that. Which are boats. Yeah, military tribunal. Uh, yeah, that's for the military, dumbass. And then uh, you're getting into admiralty law, which is the law of the seas, not the land. It deals with the ships and everything like that. Uh, yeah, uh, you really, really need to do your research when you go to court instead of listening to these soft hard gurus who are trying to, uh, milk you for every dime they can get out of dumbasses such as yourself because they want an easy way to get out of their uh, charges. But there is no easy way that involves this kind of crap. Admiralty law applies to that. Yes. This, this right here is a driving a car offense. And it's a 93 to misdemeanor carrying up to $500 fine and it carries a possible suspension of your driver's license, additional points, points to your driver's license, and possible vehicle immobilization of any vehicle that you're driving. So that's what this charge is and it's not admiralty law. You're using language that uh, legally doesn't make sense for what we're here for. But it is all, it's all, this, all this is a corporation. Okay. This is not a court. Are you saying this is not a corporation? Yeah, uh, the soft heart doesn't exactly know the difference between a government and a corporation. And yes, there is a difference between governments and corporations. And you seriously need to go out and educate yourself. Sir. I'm asking. I, I have no idea what you're even talking about. But I'm, I'm asking you a question. I mean, it is not uh, maritime admiralty law. And it's also not maritime law. Is it no. a Careful, soft heart. This judge has had it with your BS, and she's about to tear into your sorry ass. So have fun with that, you blooming idiot. I'm telling you what I know doesn't apply. Right. I never said that, though. Okay. What I said is, I am a sovereign principal, and I am the I am the beneficiary. Well, sir. You are fiduciary. A uh, question. Do you even know what the word fiduciary means? Because you're not using it in the correct manner. She, you're not her client. 
You are a defendant in this case, and she is the judge. So you're essentially barking up the wrong legal tree at this moment, much like a lot of these other soft tarts who say they have power of attorney uh, when it comes to other people. Uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, power of attorney doesn't exactly work in traffic or criminal cases. Uh, it's a totally different animal. But they still use the words anyway, thinking it's going to get them off the hook. I'm telling you that you, what you are as whoever you are is charged with today. Now, you have certain options here. You can certainly have a trial if you want a trial on whether or not you are operating a motor vehicle without a valid license from the state of Michigan because they were suspended. I object. I have, I have equipped you with all the information you need to show down the sovereign principle and also to show you in your constitution it says that I can travel. Sir, so, if you want to file a motion, Okay, I because no one can respond okay. to all of this. I, whatever I, you're saying, I motion he that can't you, respond to it. I motion that you, uh, you have to file it in writing and cite your authority under the law. <laughs> I did that. And if you want to do that, you can do that. Otherwise, we're going to have to set your case for trial. Under a power of appointment act of 1951, I appoint the judge. Uh, uh, executor, uh, I would like y'all not to breach a contract. I mean, breach of duty, be, breach of fiduciary duties. Give me jury trial date. May 9th. At May 9th. 8 30. If you need to file a motion between now and May 9th, you better do it before the end of March. Every yeah, day. You know, I wonder something. If this soft heart went home and, uh, actually called up his guru and said, hey, this script didn't work. I'm still on the hook for all that, the, all those traffic violations, dude. And I'm sure the guru would say, did you say every single syllable that I told you to say? If not, then tough luck, dumbass. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's how it went down. So, dude, it's basically your own damn fault that you followed a script that really doesn't work it to begin with. You should have actually researched the laws instead of trying to find the easy way out. And, uh, well, you ended up paying the price for it and will continue to pay the price for the rest of your life if you continue to do this kind of BS. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?